We rolling? We're rolling. It's just Yay, rolling away. we're rolling. So we're I'm gonna be interviewing you. Be interviewing Aren't you. I privileged? It's your great privilege. I know. I get to interview the great photographer, Chili Palmer. What brings you to Chicago? Hmm, the great photographer, <laughs> Chili Palmer. <laughs> of course. Of course. What else? Who else? And the great opportunity to interview you. Wow. So we know you're awesome at photography. So what are your other creative outlets? I write. You write. I write. I write. I write. Years ago, I wrote poetry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, did, I really used to write poetry. It used to be like, like dark. There poetry. once was a man from Nantucket. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. You know, <laughs> hickory dickory dock. Yeah, Some exactly. bitch was sucking my cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kind of poetry. No, not Andrew Dice Clay poetry, <laughs> but dark, dark, you know, kind of dark poetry sometimes if I was in a dark mood. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, and I used to draw, and I draw, and I drew that, but you can't see that, and we don't have a cameraman, so... I know, I wish we could just, like... Where's Matt? Because Matt would have just zoomed up to that, and he'd be doing his job. I know. If he wasn't in Europe, traipsing around Europe with his beautiful girlfriend, future wife, the guy, the camera guy is Matt. Oh, yeah. And he's over in Europe, so... We need him, where is he? We need him, <laughs> we need him in Chicago, we, need, we definitely need him in Miami... Of course. He's, he's on the but fence about coming to Miami. He needs to come. He needs to Who be there. Who wants to miss out on recording hot chicks in bikinis walking down a runway? We won't say that. We'll have to edit that out because his girlfriend will get upset. She don't want to know about hot chicks in bikinis. Well, she can be a hot chick in a bikini, she too. She is a hot South chick. Beach. I mean, that's the thing. She's a hot chick, and but she has to work. So she ain't going to be able to come down. We have to give her a shot in a bikini I see said, what happens. I said, I promised <laughs> that I would... I would take cell phone pics of Matt every 30 minutes and send them to her so she knows that he's doing his job. So, but Aren't you a good you, friend? You're going to be there with me, so you know I'm not going to be acting out of line. Of course, in my home city, well, my new city. Your new city. South Beach, Miami. You're going to have me on a short <laughs> leash, making sure I'm just like behaving. So. You know what? I have a motto. I mean, you're in South Beach. It's like Vegas. What happens in South Beach stays in South Beach. You okay. never want to restrict the man too much. Okay. Not in South Beach. There's too many hot ladies and boobs around. Okay. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I'll definitely keep that No missing out on the mind. boobs and hot Brazilian butts. Oh, Brazilian butts. As long as they fit in the hand, <laughs> then we're good. If there's more than a handful, uh, it's just turn off to me. They always say more than a handful is a waste. waste. exactly. So. Or you can have like a mini butt pillow. Mm. That always comes in handy. That's maybe. when you need a little bit more butt in your life. Maybe, maybe. We'll Sleep see. on it. Sleep on it. <laughs> uh, let's see. So you're going to be our interviewer. You're our main I interviewer. I am. I have to like get some cue cards or something so and get a little bit prepared. You, you have to prepare you and get you some questions and stuff like that. You know, I'm so pretty ready. good at coming up with questions like... Off the top of your head? But I have to still write them down so I can have like an outline. Because mm. if not, I go all over the well, place. That's what, well, that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> we're going to be starting. Shows start at like 6 o'clock or so. Mm -hmm. By 4 o'clock, we'll be meeting in the hotel room and we'll be going over... Who we're interviewing that night? What are we gonna ask them? Where are we gonna catch them? You know, we'll know what you know what celebrities will be there, and we'll try to get an idea where they're sitting and stuff like that. And we're gonna try to catch them all. And Sounds like a fun time. So you're you know so you'll be ready to do your job, and then I'll be doing my job, and and then there's after parties. Woo! And that's shots, the, the shots, shots, and shots and bikinis. Shots, yeah, bikini, <laughs> bikini shots and jello shots and. That's always great. Body shots is my favorite. Oh my gosh, you're just getting me more excited as the moment's going on. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that's what we're going to be doing, and it's going to be fun. It's always fun, and it's our job. Someone I'm like has to so do it. a bad interviewer. <laughs> you're, you're a great interviewer. You're good. I'm working on it. You know, I yeah. went to school. I was a mass comm major, but there was a reason so, I dropped out. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> I was too into the shots and bikinis. I was too beautiful. I, I can't be like interviewing people. They should be interviewing me. You know, I love to. I love to interview. I love to make people talk a lot. But like I said, I was too into the shots and bikinis. Ah, uh, it's hard to interview it's gonna, people when you're staggering. Yeah, exactly. Staggering <laughs> we have to make sure you have some nice outfits to wear too. Of course. Nice designer outfits. Sounds like shopping. 
<laughs> Coming up. <laughs> hide, hide the platinum American Express card. <laughs> shopping. Here we go. Like, Going oh, shopping. shopping. The oh, girl's shopping best spring. friend, the boyfriend's mm-hmm. worst enemy. Worst enemy is shopping. <laughs> I put that on my Facebook the other day. I said, one of the advantages of dating a 22-year-old is that she 21. likes... 21. <laughs> she likes to, She likes to go shopping at H&M and Forever 21. And I said, curse the man that takes her to Prada and, <laughs> and those other high designer expensive stores. Like, oh, it's too much Cursing. right now. Right now, yeah. I'm like, I'm 21. I change my outfit every 10 minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know. So, it's, and it goes, it, you know, we're into... It's, it's a bad economy right now, so we all have to suck it up a little bit and, and, and you know, do a, deal with what we can, and hopefully there'll be good times in the future. There'll be more trips to Vegas and Caribbean and things like that. And or you have to come Ibiza. down to Miami more well, often. I'll, it's a permanent I'll, I'll, vacation. Um, I'll, st- I'll start coming down to Miami more often and... They will plan a trip to Ibiza. I always wanted to do... I've said that I, my dream trip. Is Ibiza? Yeah. Ibiza? I want to do the, the nightclub with the foam. I would Every time they do Wild on Ibiza, Ibiza, they're always showing the people dancing in the nightclub, and it's like foam. Up you know what? I've been to quite a few foam parties. Really? I've never been to a foam party. See, the only thing is you leave out soaking wet and smelling like a wet dog, and everyone yeah. else is sweat. Yeah. It's fun until yeah. the aftermath. Until after, until you leave. <laughs> I see you just take your clothes off and you hop into the car. Yeah, that's always true, but if you get pulled over, Naked. how are you going to explain that to the police officer? You were in a phone party. I was in a phone party. I was in a phone I party and help, I, just, I had to take my clothes off. I'm an exhibitionist. That's what I am. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm naked in my car. I'm sure many guys have been pulled over naked in cars. Well, you know what? Off, I'm pretty sure they have, but I wish that I could just have a whole video of like their explanations of why they were naked, oh, why in, the they were naked in the car. Oh, you know what like, I saw? Oh, I was doing my laundry. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's in the dryer right now. You can just I'm just going to get a pack of cigarettes and, and I'm coming right back to get my laundry right Like, oh my gosh, I got robbed they, by fashionistas. They took my they took my designer pants and underwear. <laughs> <laughs> that could happen. Okay. Maybe there. a little staggering. A little staggering. So so, uh, <laughs> so you've been keeping up with Model Mayhem stories? Do you know what? I haven't. I haven't. I kind of just stay cl- a, a little clear of Model Mayhem. I'm not on there anymore, either. I remember so, you telling me. Oh, my right. gosh. They, so what's they, the deal with that? They, they kicked me off. They, <coughs> they said I wasn't... They, they said I wasn't... Well, see, what pissed me off... I, I don't care. If I break the rules, if I broke a rule, and you want to throw me off the site, then just come out and, and say so. But don't like like accuse me and Jen just have me go in and find out that you know my roommate Nikki and and my old roommate Nikki and my profiles have been like fucking deleted without like any any rhyme or reason without saying I mean send me an email and say Mr. Palmer uh, we've decided to close your account because it's X Y and Z and you have seven days to or even two days. To close up your business, you know, and and contact the people that you've been working. Suppose I was in the middle of a project, you know. Suppose somebody I, I had plans on working with somebody. Suppose somebody was flying in to see me, and they go to log on to Model Mayhem, and and then they can't get in contact with me because that was the only way that they had set up to get in contact. It was just like really amateurish and hobbyist the way well, they they exactly. handled. Exactly. I always, you know what I say about that. Model mayhem where professionals don't meet. That's right. That, well, well, look at me. I have not hired a single model from Model Mayhem for anything in years. I mean, I basically have been using Model Mayhem as my own personal eHarmony. You know? <laughs> I mean, that's all it really was to me. And that's what Nikki, you know, Nikki, Nikki's agent, um, her agency in New York, told her not to have a Model Mayhem account. So even though she had it, she kept it like on the down, you know, she didn't let anybody yeah, really know or whatever. Yeah, I've been strongly advised. So she like, was, yeah. And she was happy that I got thrown off and that she got thrown off. She was like, good, we don't belong on there. And my PR agent uh, will say a little shout out to them. Uh, IPR Media in New York, uh, 
now represents Chili Palmer Photography. And they were the same thing. They were like, you know, that's an amateur site. That's a hobbyist site. You know, all the hookers that were on Craigslist kind of moved to Model Mayhem now, basically. Oh, gosh. So, and there's like a little code if you wanted to find, you know, which girls were hookers. There's a little code in their name or whatever. And, and so it, it's just, you know, the media company said you shouldn't be there. You know, you should, and I've never given it out. If anybody ever wanted my uh, credentials or anything, I either sent them, you know, I'm on Black Book, so I either sent them the Black Book or I sent them to my own website, Chili Palmer Photography, and there you can see my work. Or I sent them to my YouTube page if you want to see all my Fashion Week work with all my videos and interviews, and including the Sports Illustrated cover model, Irina Shake, which I, I know someone got into an argument with me in one of the forums. They were like, well, you just posed with a picture with her. And I'm like, why would I just pose with a picture with her and try to lie that I worked with her? Why don't you just Google interview with Irina Shayk and see that it is like the top most hits for interviews with Irina Shayk. It was even more hits at the time when this was going on than her interview on David Letterman and then her interview with, uh, I think, the, was it the E! Channel? It was one of, one of the other ones. Uh, the only one that had a higher interview rating than us was, her in, was the Sports Illustrated interview. So, I mean, it's just stupid when people just, you know, haters and, and losers pretty much, uh, you know, that's what it's kind of filled with. And hobbyists, and, and I got nothing against hobbyists. I mean, if you're, if you're like a hot, you know, a hot chick, comparatively speaking, and <clears throat> you want to make a couple hundred dollars a week, so you take your clothes off and you pose in bra and panties or a bikini for some guy who's shooting in his mother's basement in Minnesota or something like that, <laughs> and, and, and you make $200 that week, and that's an extra $200 to pay the rent, pay your college tuition, whatever it is. But, you know, that it is what it is, and, and don't try to pretend. You know, Model Mayhem is to professional photography and modeling the same way lingerie football is to the NFL. I mean, it's just... It's, it's, it's this not. goes hand in hand. This goes know? hands in hand. So, so I, I'm really not upset being off of there. Uh, I, you know, I was wasting two or three hours a night. Yeah, you're not missing out on much. Yeah. I haven't. You really haven't been, been on forever. You haven't been on there in over a year. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> it's been a very and, long and, time. And, and I'm sure you know it's really cost you a lot of money not being oh on there. Oh my gosh, I'm missing out. And you missed out, out on all the opportunities to work with. And, and my ex-roommate, Nikki, she, I don't think she ever worked with a single Model Mayhem photographer. Like, she opened up her account, she got a couple of emails of people telling her, you know, oh, I, I want you to come and get naked, you know, basically, I want to shoot you naked, <laughs> you know, in, in, in their mother's basement somewhere in Queens or something. And, and that was the only offers that she got. And she just, and she was like, and then one day she asked me, I remember we were in Virginia, and, and she had just opened up her account, and she goes, is there real work on this website? And I go, no. I said, I use it as a dating site. I mean, it's, <laughs> she's like, oh, okay, that explains all the emails I'm getting. And I'm like, yeah, just, just don't pay no attention to it. And after that point, you know, she hardly ever went on there. She did the top ten reasons to date me. That was about the only <laughs> thing she did, and that was pretty funny. And, uh, but other than that, it's you know you're not going to get anywhere being you know being on there it's not you know it's not going to advance your career or anything of course not so too many ladies shaking it on there and offering too much sex <laughs> yeah, basically i mean i mean that's but, what all the hookers were doing mm -hmm. the hookers they they got kicked off of craigslist so they went there and and they, and, and the way to get around uh, being a hooker is to say that you're going to do a porn video basically and it's okay if the photographer is the actor, you know? So pay me $300 oh and gosh. we can do an oral porn scene and you can videotape it. And, and there it is. It's, and it's no longer prostitution. It's now art. Oh, God. And it's now protected by whatever amendment, because I don't even remember the amendment that protects freedom of speech. like, and, shoot me. Shoot yeah, me right here. Shoot me right here. You know? <laughs> so, so once that happened, you know, it just, it just you know, jumped the shark. It just went downhill.